been seeing quite a lot of polo videos recently again on our channel and this probably has to be one of the craziest builds that we have been covering for the last 2 to 3 months i know we've done the state 3 car but i think so this is one of the best polo 1 liter builds that we've ever come to feature on the channel i'm driving an inrc2 spec polo 1 liter dsi 6 speed manual rally car and it is way too much fun so stick around so i can tell you all about this thing So now that we've stopped on the side, I can properly talk about this interior in all of its glory because yeah, this is a proper race car on the inside. I was pretty jealous the last time Bhavni drove that INRC1 Polo, but I'm not jealous anymore because this thing is equally as crazy. So let's start off with the seats. They're proper racing bucket seats. You know, in racing, you can't have normal comfortable seats that throw you around here and there in the corners. So yeah, proper bolstering, you're not moving at all. And to ensure you're not moving even further, you have a four point racing harness. So yeah, you're properly strapped into place. The steering wheel has also changed. Uh, this is a OMP racing steering wheel. Now this being the one liter TSI, uh, you get a six speed manual, but the gearbox also has a couple of mods done to it. First of all, this shifter and everything has been completely changed and the gear ratios are actually shorter now. So, you know, you can keep on shifting and stay in the power band of this car in order to be as competitive as possible. Uh, you also have this onboard computer over here, which shows your revs, IAT temperatures and all of the other necessary information while you go racing. And you also have a hydraulic handbrake because this is a rally car. You also have a complete infotainment system delete. You have kill switches, uh, switches for your horn and all of that stuff. So yeah, a pretty crazy interior and how can you miss the FMSCI spec roll cage and a fire extinguisher because yeah, this thing may catch on fire while you know racing or something like that if you tumble over so it has a lot of safety mechanisms inside as well and if you haven't noticed no rear seats no boot nothing like that so yeah weight saving at the max So, of course, being a proper race car, it having an FMSCI certified roll cage, proper racing bucket seats, getting in and out of this car is going to be quite the task. But uh, we push through, and yeah, as you can see, it's super hot inside this thing because it doesn't have AC, but you do have natural or aerodynamic AC vents, kind of. So, these two roof scoops that you see over here. Well, basically, they channel the air coming on top of the car inside the cabin. So, you do get that little bit extra uh, cooling inside the car. But let's get on to the engine and what exactly this thing is running. So, of course, being a race car, you need to have hood pins. And this hood has some proper functional uh, vents. But once you open up the hood and... Yep. Ah, this is a 1 liter TSI car basically so now if you remember last year around the same time we put out a video with an INRC Rally 1 Polo 1.2 TSI but this year is an INRC 2 1 litre TSI now I'll explain the differences between INRC 1, 2 and 3 uh, in a few minutes but let's just talk about what this thing is running so it's not running anything super crazy but yeah it's a proper race car so most of the focus is done around the suspension, the rigidity of the chassis, the roll cage and all of that. The engine is kind of secondary in this. So, uh, first of all, you have these Ryger adjustable uh, suspension basically and this setup is worth six and a half lakhs because it's a proper rally spec suspension setup and you have tons and tons of options for, you know, like adjusting your rebound, uh, your stiffness and a lot of other things. So from here, I think so you can uh, adjust your stiffness. So right now it's on full stiffness because, you know, 
uh, it's not going anywhere rallying it's just driving on the road here and there you don't need soft suspension on tarmac roads or normal roads so yeah having stiff suspension gives you more handling and makes the car feel planted uh, you of course have a gigantic intake over here uh, it's running a gt tuners ecu remap which is custom made for a rally car like this so it's not your ordinary 1 liter tsi remap that you get for normal street cars uh, it has a lot of cool little features here and there so for example if you can see this flap this is basically like a protector for the ecu so that you know whenever this car goes through water or something like that the ecu which is probably one of the most critical components of a car working stays safe basically and underneath that you have a small little switch a black little knob over there and that is also very important because that's the brake bias uh switch basically so you can adjust your brake bias front to rear with that thing so that is also very useful then if you see these uh, mounts over here they are actually strengthened so that you know this car can take a beating while on a proper rally state so both of the suspension mounting points are strengthened now and you have these engine mounts uh, around the engine which have been sourced by Arca Motorsport so this thing is all about the rigidity and the suspension not much about the engine but yeah a very cool engine bay nonetheless so let's just quickly shut it and i'll tell you a little bit more as to you know how these guys uh, you know adjust their suspension because yes there is a knob over here for the uh stiffness and everything but uh, if you come here down to the side uh you actually have to get underneath the car kind of and probably remove a wheel for that but uh there is a little switch on the suspension arm itself and that switch is actually for your rebound and stiffness and all of that so you can adjust that and you know that can adjust your rebound come down to the side yeah it has this really cool livery and yeah this car is nicknamed daytona it has all of the uh what do you say stickers from the sponsors and everything like that the driver is mr arnav uh and he's actually leading the junior championship uh with his 1.6 rally spec polo he's not racing this at the moment and come down to the back you have some really cool diffuser action going on exhaust tips you have the polo gt uh spoiler and everything and yeah even the rear hatch of this thing is with hood pins all in the name of weight saving and from here you can see the full fmsci spec roll cage and yeah i'm pretty sure this thing is super stiff super loud and probably pretty uncomfortable to drive but at the end it's a race car so the feeling that it gives you is just going to be next level I have driven quite a lot of Polo 1 liter TSIs over the years ever since they were launched in India. I have driven a stock car, a stage 1 car, a stage 2 car and very recently I drove a stage 3 car as well. But nothing compares to this INRC build Rally Polo. So I did not waste any more time, got strapped into the car and got ready to go for a little spin. So now I'm completely strapped in and yeah, time to take it out for a quick little spin. This super hot here in Delhi and this rally spec polo isn't helping one bit. It is super stiff at the moment. The rigidity. I don't know even if you can hear me. It's so loud. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god Ooh this thing is properly dialed in it feels like a rally car So the first thing that you instantly feel is how stiff this thing is. The suspension is I think so on its stiff most stiff setting. So yeah, it's basically throwing you around here and there. And again with all of the roll cage inside and everything like that it's just super rigid. When you try to push this car from the side to see the suspension bounce and everything it just doesn't move. That's how stiff this thing is. And the other thing is 
I have driven quite a lot of Polo 1 liter TSI stage 3 car even but this thing feels just different because the power to weight ratio has definitely improved this thing is basically lugging around close to no weight apart from the shell and the seats me which i might get 70 kilos so yeah once you push it it actually freaking moves it's super fast for a little car like this it is so loud inside i don't know if you can hear me but this thing <coughs> is so much fun to drive the fact that it's a manual is just amazing because it's so much fun to drive so engaging the throttle response is like lightning you know it has basically no delay and no turbo lag also i mean it just picks up and goes this thing is running on semi slicks right now so the grip also is pretty unbelievable and i can see how this can dominate rally stages because as we all know the polo is known for its rally roots and yeah You can definitely feel it in this car. The brakes are also upgraded. You have some ventilated discs, more powerful pads and all of that stuff. So, yeah, the braking performance also has improved by quite a bit. The racing bucket seats are holding me into place. I can I cannot move basically apart from my hands and legs because of the uh, racing harness and downshift punch it. It is so fast. And the pops and bangs. This is a race car, so I'm not going to complain because whatever they've done, <coughs> it's proper. I don't know the I don't know the power figures and all of that stuff but does it really matter because <coughs> this is more than enough and this big white smile on my face is just because of the way this thing drives not the power not the exhaust nothing like that it's just the whole package the real deal now getting into INRC 1 2 or whatever you want to do in the world of rallying well it's not going to be cheap by any means but still this car is probably 20 to 25 lakhs to build from scratch which is actually not bad you get a proper race car in that thing in this whole package so if you want to do some proper racing doesn't get much better than this in india at the moment yeah this thing is so much fun so much fun and the shorter gear ratios that the owner was telling me about it. you can definitely feel it because i'm continuously having to shift so that this thing stays in its power band and the power band is so powerful we're getting into the triple digits without even trying and the pedal placement is just perfect the pedals have been changed as well so it's the perfect setup for heel and towing this thing because that's what you need to do since it's a manual car and yeah the videos that the owner has shared with us of him doing some incredible drives during his rally days well yeah this thing on a proper rally stage must be an epic little car to drive a big shout out to gt tuners for hooking us up with this amazing build uh, and letting us cover and film it a big shout out to the owner as well mr pratap for letting us drive his amazing car and yeah this has been an incredible experience to drive a car like this so a big shout out to gt tuners and mr pratap for that do follow them on instagram uh, do follow them on instagram and subscribe to our channel follow us on instagram and i'll catch you in the next one